What's up guys, in this video I got three pitching drills, three pitching exercises for you to use to help with your deceleration and in return, pitch faster. The question I got today is from Ntix A, and he asks, why do we have to de decelerate speed and how turning our arm makes us speed down? I really watch your vids in a useful way. Thank you so much for that question. That's actually a great question because deceleration is so important, especially to keep us free from injury. The reason why we slow our arm down after uh, release point is so that we can protect it, right? If we just let this arm whip through and we got a weak arm, we can really hurt ourselves. We can hurt our shoulders, we can hurt our elbow. The way deceleration works in the pitching delivery is we pronate through our release point and then into internal rotation. If we have good, strong muscles, deceleration muscles, good pitching breaks, if you will, then we can slow this arm down nice and easy after release point and we're not letting it whip through and tearing up our shoulder, right? So what are three pitching drills or pitching exercises that we could do to work on that? Get better brakes, right? Because if you have a fast car, you don't want to drive a super fast sports car with bad brakes, do you? I don't. You're going to end up crashing, totaling the car. Same thing with pitching, right? If you got bad brakes and you're whipping this arm through, you're going to end up tearing things up. So we got to have good brakes, good deceleration in our pitching delivery. A couple things you can do to work on that, right? These three pitching drills or pitching exercises. First is bands. Right, band. Everybody knows about band. I hope everybody knows about bands. If you don't, you got to get yourself a pair um, because you can really work on your deceleration muscles, your arms, your shoulders, your elbows, everything that you need when you're throwing the ball. These are J bands. I have these on my website for sale. I'll leave a link down below. Basically, you hook them onto the fence and then you can go through a series of exercises with them. I made a few videos before showing you various different exercises that you can do. So I will link those videos down below. So after you finish watching this one, you can watch those and see some great exercises that you can do with your bands to work on your deceleration and in return pitch faster. The second of the pitching drills or pitching exercises that you can do to work on your deceleration is the shoulder tube. And I also have this on my website. I'll leave a link down below. Um, but it's just basically a tube. I call it the pitcher's Q-tip because it looks like a Q-tip. It's got two ends on the two uh, weights on the end. It's a long stick. And all we're trying to do is bounce this thing up and down or side to side. And man, if you've ever tried this before, see how it's getting to a circle? I got to stop there because we want to be up and down and not in a circle. So you got to really focus on controlling the shoulder tube get it up and down. And then there's many different exercises that you can do with this one as well. Side to side right here, or in the 90 degree angle up here. There's many different exercises, but if you ever tried this before and you go through about 30 seconds of it, your shoulder, your whole arm, your back, everything's gonna start to burn. And this is a really great exercise for pitchers to keep your arm strong and safe for when you are pitching out there on the mound. And last but not least is holds. And I learned about holds from my roommate, Stevie Delabar, uh, who was in the Padres organization with myself. And uh, he actually ended up being released from the Padres organization, uh, played independent ball, tore up his elbow, had to have surgery. And he ended up coming back. He did a program called the Velocity Plus Arm Care. And they incorporated what uh, is called holds. And basically it's just holding the ball as you go through your pitching delivery. And Stevie actually came back after doing that program, uh, not only made it to the major leagues, but became a major league all-star. So of course I started messing around with holds because I wanted to be a major league all-star. Uh, it didn't work out for me, but I found a product that is, uh, I call the Sully sleeve and uh, it's also called the baseball training sock. You put it onto your throwing arm and you hold the ball inside of that sock and then you go through your delivery and you can actually release the ball inside of the sock. The difference between this and the holds uh, they were doing before is you actually let go of the ball, but you're still working on your deceleration because the weight of the ball is still in the sock. So you're getting stronger or better at decelerating a heavier weight through your throwing delivery. Does that make sense? So using the baseball training sock, which I also sell on my website, I'll put the link down below, is a great way to also work on your deceleration. Uh, if you can't do that, if you can't buy one, try just holding on to the ball. Uh, of course, you can check out the Velocity Plus Arm Care uh, program. Um, it's out there somewhere. And uh, if you have any questions on any of these three things, the bands, the uh, shoulder blade, or the baseball training sock, I will leave links down below to videos with exercises that you could do with these, uh, or just drop me a comment. Let me know. If you got questions, I'll be happy to answer them. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already.